Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're going to be using a multimeter to test the car's battery, the alternator, and also maybe for some power drains. You'll notice this car is plugged into what's called a battery tender, and check the video description. I'll put links to all these other things in there uh, that we cover in this video in more depth. And so the first thing we're going to do is turn on our multimeter, and so what we want to do is have it plugged in at the bottom into these two ports here. And so once we have them connected properly, we're going to go ahead and turn our dial to our direct voltage for a reading. Now as we connect our two leads to the battery, since the battery is already plugged in to the wall right now with the battery charger, you'll notice it reads 13 volts. A battery on its own should be about 12 volts, 12.5 volts or so. And then with the alternator running from the car or a power source, uh, it would be 13. 13.5, sometimes up to 15 volts would be about the max that you want to see. So now as we disconnect this, you'll see the battery is working its way down, uh, and it will slowly draw down uh, further and further while it's disconnected. So now we're down into the 12 volt range where we should be. So as another example, we're going to go ahead and open the door here, and that'll turn the dome light on, and I'm going to turn the headlights on. So with the headlights on, and now we have a power draw, per se, we'll come back and measure the voltage here. So now you can see we're down to 11.9. So if your battery reads this, you know that the battery is either weak or bad, or there's a power draw of some sort that's happening. So once we turn the headlights off, and we'll still have the dome light on here for a minute, so we'll get a reading of what that looks like with just a small power draw on here. So you can see it's in the low 12s now, so that could be an indicator as well that something might be on, something insignificant or you know very low power. And so we'll close the door and we'll watch this dome light come off. Okay, with the light off, now we can get another reading on the battery. And so as you can see, it's where it should be, about 12.4 volts or so. But this is important as you're testing the battery. If you have the doors open and other things on, you won't get a good reading. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and start the vehicle. And this is how we're going to take a look to see if the alternator is working or not. Now, on my car, I have a voltmeter built in on one of my gauges, so it's very helpful. A lot of cars do not have this, but you can see I'm at 14 and a half volts or so with a very powerful 240 amp alternator. So you can see we're indicating 15 volts as the car has just started up. Sometimes the voltage is a little bit higher um, as the car realizes it needs a little bit more power and the alternator regulator is you know, controlling this. But that's how you would know if your alternator is good is if you have a good reading with the uh, car running. And it should be 13.5 up to 15 volts, somewhere around there. 13.5 to 14.5 is the normal range. So if the car is running and you saw 12 volts, you would know your alternator is not working. So if that's the case, you'll want to test the fuse for the alternator. So as an example, we're turning this to that, it looks like a Wi-Fi symbol for a continuity test, and I have a link in the description that goes more in depth into this. Um, but basically what we want to do is touch both ends around the fuse for the alternator. Most cars don't have a big exposed alternator like this. This was an upgrade with my bigger alternator that I installed, but if you find the car's fuse for the alternator, what we're going to do is put both ends on here and you'll hear it beep if it has a good connection. So if you hear that beeping, that's called a continuity test. There's good continu continuity between the fuse itself. It has power on both sides of it is basically what it's saying. Next, we're going to go under the hood of our Mach 1 Mustang. And so we're just going to open up this fuse panel, and I'm going to show you how to test some of the fuses if you are getting a power draw. So again, we're going back to our voltage, our direct voltage readout here. And so I'm testing this fuse, and as you can see, we have voltage that's going through this one. This is the headlight fuse. So I turned the headlights on and measured this. And so that's what you would see as an example if you're going through your fuses and everything's supposed to be off on the car, but you see you're getting a voltage draw, then you would know that system is uh, drawing some voltage. Now, uh, here it is with the headlights off. You can see it would read zero as another example. And some of these, though, would have uh, you know power going through them even when the car's off, like a keyless entry system, you know some of the other ones. So don't be alarmed, but you might want to look up what fuse it is because they should be reading zero 
and not drawing any power while the car is off. Now on some cars, they don't have a voltmeter and it's very frustrating. And all they do instead is you might see the battery light come on. And when you see the battery light, it's not necessarily your battery, but your alternator is not charging. So I'll show you a clip from one of my other videos and it will show you something that you can easily buy that you can read volts with. Okay, this is gonna be one of the easiest mods that you've ever done. You just take out your cigarette lighter holder and you just plug this in. You just put it right into the cigarette lighter. So as you can see, it's telling us right now 12.7 volts. That's basically just the battery. As you can see, the car's not turned on anything like that. So in the moment that I turn the car on, you'll watch the alternator kick in. Okay, we're immediately at 14 and a half volts. Okay, now if you want to compare that to the Aero Force Interceptor gauge as soon as it uh, comes up here, there we are. Okay, same readout. 14 and a half volts pretty much. Okay, so that's how accurate this thing is. So let's say that you're going down the freeway, you're doing a wide open pull, and your alternator shuts off. You'd be able to see it in a, in a minute. So basically, there it goes. Okay, so if you're, if you're using this for that reason, to help you understand if your alternator is working, it's a must on these cars. So you'll have to check your car. If you do have a voltmeter on it, then you'll notice as you start the car, it'll go from you know 12 volts up to the 13.5 to 14.5 or so. And so that's a good way to monitor whether your alternator is working or not. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please check the video description where I have more videos that are similar to this, some more information. But hopefully this is giving you a good idea of how to test your battery as well as how to know if your alternator is actually working. So that would be the difference between 12 and a half volts or if you start seeing 13 and a half to 14 and a half volts. So anyway, thanks for watching. Check the video description and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks guys.